Hi everybody, welcome. It's Scarlet Pete's Self-Sufficiency and we're back at Tabitha Tabard with our Machine Knit series and we're on the final lap now nearly. We're about to put the neck in and I'm going to knit the neck with the river. If you want to join me and watch how it's done, this is how you do the perfect neckband, even if I do say so myself. What have I done? We joined the shoulders, if you'll see that, was joined on the previous uh, video after we knitted the neckline, like that. And now I've stretched open the garment for you to see. I'll get my camera lady here to hold it for me. So we've opened out the garment and we've pushed it down. Here's the other shoulder. There's one shoulder. And here is the other shoulder. This is the side of the neck. The side here. This is the front of the neck on waist yarn that we shaped before the side of the neck and this is the back of the neck and what I'm doing now is hanging it all back onto the machine and I've done it with the wrong side of the work facing me and I'm going along picking up each stitch slowly. I picked up the side stitches here of the neck band, the neck shape and I will show you how I did that on this side but if I'll just carry on picking up these stitches here and I'll see you in a minute when I'm at the side of the neck. All right, we've got that on. I'm undoing the yarn, the waist yarn from the other side, just like that. And, oops, what they have. Pull the waist yarn out of the way. Now, do you remember I did one row before that I wasn't sure about doing? Now's the time to undo that row. Just like that. That's just going to just give us the perfect neckline, trust me. And we've got here where we joined, I'm going to take off that stitch, come from this side, this is the side of the neck, twist it on just so that's a little bit tighter and it closes up a hole where the stitches and the side of the work become one. What's that done? Right, now then, what have we got here? We now need to put on this side of the neckline. And I want it all equal, so I firstly put on this side, and I know that is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 stitches. So let's count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So I'll put that one back. So next thing to do is come along here on the side and i'm going to show you the difference between the stitches that we're going to put on here can you see we have a slip line and we have a knot we have a slip line and we have a knot we're not picking up the knots we're picking up that longer slip stitch and that just that one stitch here is going on all the way along. So I'll catch you in a minute. We've now put all that side on. We're going to stab this one from this direction to make that hole close up. Stab it, twist it. Mm. Interesting technique. Isn't it just? Developed by little old me when I was a little mm. girl. Now, so we have all the side, the centre and the side on, and now we need to hook up all the back. So I'm looking for my first stitch here, which is that one. But you see there's going to be a bit of a gap there, so I'm just going to pick up a little bit from the seam and put those two on. So that's just perfecting that little gap that could have been there. And on we go, picking up all of that. I'll see you in a minute when I get to the end. So we've now hooked on the back of the neck and I'm just fishing underneath to find the end of the waist yarn. Oh, come here waist yarn. Times like this I wish I hadn't got such big fingers. Right, undo all that. Don't break your fingers so easily though, would you? No, I suppose not. There we go. So what is left to be joined shortly, but not yet, is that shoulder. 
So, back neck, side neck, front neck, other side neck. All of that's going to pop out now into upper working position because it just makes it easier for the machine to knit it. Put in my whoops, yarn, and we're going to knit this. I'm going to knit this. I want it to be a little bit tight, so I'm going to knit that on tension down seven, which is a bit tighter than we have been knitting. I'm going to knit one row across just to get it all ready. And yes, it can be a bit difficult. It's a bit jammed there. What's happening? Yeah, I'm going to have to undo that here. I was going to say, it can be a bit difficult. Just pop that off and see why something was a bit too tight for it. Ooh. It's that bit there, look. So just knit that by hand. If we pulled it out like we did, that's helped it knit. But where we've made stitches along the side of the neck, that can sometimes be difficult for the machine to stitch. That's why we've done this first row before we attempt to make it do ribbing. So I'll just knit these off by hand now. And I'll put the sinker plate back onto the front of the carriage. Put the carriage back on properly. Oops. Carriage is back on. That's back in. Carry on knitting this gently by hand back. Just like that. See, it was just where we probably did that twist that made it a little bit difficult. Right, that's all on and we have a new lovely first row. Ta-da! Now we need to get the rib or the welt for the um, neck band going. So I'm putting all this yarn out of my way. Just like that. Ta-da! Taking off the sinker plate because we're now going to do rib. So we're putting on the ribbing part. Thread the yarn into the ribbing sinker plate. Put the ribber on, pushing up. Oh, now, if you don't have charging cables got stuck. If you don't have a ribber, that's fine. You can do this as a mock one by one rib, which we have got in some of my other videos, how to do mock ribs or welts. And now I'm going to take every second stitch and put it down onto the river. So we'll start on this side to show you. Taking it from the top bed, grab the stitch. You can see why uh, knitted garments would be Sort of uh, expensive. Oh, yeah. you know, it would help if I actually used a tool rather than a, a needle. <laughs> that was a bodkin. Right, mm -hmm. that's how bad my eyes are. It's going quite nicely. And at this point, I'm using my left hand underneath just to hold the work down as I'm lifting the stitch onto the river bed because it just makes it a little bit easier. Sort of find some way of not putting your hand in the camera all the time. Oh, these camera people, you can't get decent ones these days. They're always having a go at you for being in the wrong place. Let me try and do it left hand. Yeah, look, she wants me to look really bad now and do it with the wrong hand. I'm left, not left handed, and she's making me do it left handed. There we go. Oh, see, I managed it. Yeah. So I'll carry on all the way along now, pulling down with my right hand and working with my left hand, <laughs> which is co totally counterproductive for... I, see, can't, I can't even see to put the thing on the yes, hole. Yes, but the people can see, can't they? That's what so matters. So shush. That's what matters. If you can all see, I do hope you like our videos and, you know, feel like saying a hello or a comment and tell us if we're rubbish or if we're helpful. And, you know, obviously you're going to compliment the camera lady here because she's doing so, such a good job and I dropped a stitch. Oh, 
Look at that. Because you're using your left hand It is because I'm using my left hand. <laughs> and I've not got my glasses on because I'm vain. <laughs> right. Yes, you need to compliment the camera lady. Well, maybe she's not just the camera lady now. She's, I think she's gone to camera lady and first director. Right. When will I get my income coming? Hmm? Well, when once we get monetized, we get loads and loads of people mm. watching this. We'll get. I expect like eighty percent advertising sports, revenue in here. And Lily, you can buy some nice goodies for your horses and doggies. Mm. Yes, and I might buy another knitting machine or two because I've only got about twenty. You know, that's yeah. just not. You've seen all these behind here. <laughs> Don't let them know my secrets. There's like hundreds underneath the bed. <laughs> There's 20. That's one other one of my videos that talks about um, husband seeing what's under the bed and I get caught with all my knitting machines. I've only got three here in a row. I've got a Passat mm. E6000 hidden in the background here. I've got the... Should brother... this one be covered? The yes, it thing should be... be. Look how dusty it is. <laughs> Brother 950i there. He's um, looking for a new home if anyone's interested. No, it's not. <laughs> this one doesn't cover it properly. And I've got this KH 260 chunky here in front. And actually talking of dust, if you would like to know how to do the clean down after you've knitted a garment, because every single garment you do a clean down. Do you? Uh, yes. I've not seen this so far, you know. Well, I've only knitted one garment on this jump on this thing this week. Well, you didn't clean it after you knitted that, did you? Well, no, because I thought. You no, see, you're doing this there, one. There, there's, I <laughs> thought I would let it gather a lot more dirt knitting this one, so that on film, you know, camera lady, ah, director, yeah. it's you... going to look very dirty, and mm. people are going to see which bits they need to clean. Mm. I think you could have started with this one. You can see the dust from here. Well, that one, that one actually, that Poor river. Poor thing's getting abused. That river has not been cleaned yet. It does need a strip down and a clean up. So if you want to know more about that for the 850 over there, let me know and I could do a video on it for you. Uh, but we're just waffling here, you know. This and one's actually had... disgustingly dirty. I just you noticed mind, that. You're just not showing everybody. I don't love you. <laughs> uh, we've not had any pretty pup pictures while I've been working here. Normally Lily sneaks in a puppy picture. Mm. Uh, shall I just carry on and turn my back while you go find the Chihuahua puppies? Maybe. Ooh. You want to turn your back? So press pause, then I go. Here's Adeline. Here are her little bubbles. No, sweetness. Hello. Just get one out so everybody can see. It's a bit dark in there, 